control board is basically seated in the same fashion as it was before in the original format and you can use the existing foam if you were able to remove that carefully and still maintain the same shape and stickiness or you can use our foam piece that we include in the kit we do that anyway so you have that option we also include in the kit this particular o-ring and this is not the first time that we have done this with our kits you know anytime I, I design a kit I think of all these other things that could be done a little bit better and so I include all these other little extra parts to make it a little more uh, easier to to use and, and uh, to minimize the risk of breaking some of these uh, some of these wires that are otherwise when they sit loose they uh, they, they could uh, break loose from the uh, from the connections so this is this is one of those things this is this o-ring you just have to be careful when you slip that over the motor you have to stretch it a little bit here and I'm trying to work this as I'm holding the helicopter and filming this so it's a little little more challenging but you can certainly do that take your time and you can do that very easily so that's what that o-ring is there is to retain these wires closer to the to the body of the motor and to prevent them from breaking at this point here where they're more fragile um, I'm not showing the connection here for the battery this is a wire that connects on the side of the Genius CP and this is a little problem that that some users probably might have and might have happened the same as it did to me I, I was from so much connecting disconnecting the battery eventually these little wires came loose so I just need to resolder those two wires to the respective plus and minus uh, copper pads here on the uh, PC board and I won't go too much into this detail but uh, you can uh, I'm pretty sure you have other videos that you can uh, reference to see how these connections are done and if you if you still have your connection there well then you you don't need to worry about that but I just thought I'd point that out for those that are very uh, keen on, on details and in these videos and are probably wondering what happened to this this section here once again the uh, the canopy mounts the way this frame is is installed to the plastic stock frame is is very simple and as we're working in reverse order here let me remove the these two rubber pieces here which act not only as a uh, retainer for the for this boom support which is in many of the Wakira helicopters is very uh, very loose now on this one it's a little snug but it's still loose where you can just pull the the carbon uh, canopy support out this canopy support also acts as a retainer for the uh, for the servo plate it's very interesting that Wakira did this with the Genius CP because we had done that originally with our frames the Mia Microflight if uh, people recall the carbon and G10 frames that I was producing back when Wakira first came out with a Ford uh, number 43 helicopter we did a plate and we started including a, a, a pin to lock those those pieces in place and this kind of struck me as, uh, as an interesting point that Wakira has decided to do uh, or decided to do the same thing in the in this particular assembly with uh, Genius CP so and that's perfectly fine because people tend to tend to uh, tend to use uh, uh, things that they work um, they, they tend to work well you know in, in applications uh, such as this and and uh, I've seen that in, in many uh, many other products Be, uh, you know some companies just lift these things from from uh, tips and in and, uh, and, uh, and other products that, uh, that that already work so anyway taking this out of the out of the position here of the uh, the frame you can see how the frame has these these side plates they're not glued to the servos make a note of that not to glue this you can certainly double side tape this but it's not required once you assemble this frame and basically you have to remove these two screws when these two screws are removed you're going to be able to pull this frame forward going to need to open these things up and it'll come out from the uh, stock plastic uh, 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 genius uh, structure so that's how you you pull the frame out and you install it so you just reverse the same process and you install the frame that way so I hope that's clear and I, I, I 
I'm, I'm thinking I don't need to go too much in detail because these things are very straightforward once you have the frame assembled and you have followed the uh, MCPX assembly steps for the similar frame they would have did for the Blade MCPX helicopter. It's the same procedure, the same steps, the same notes, same idea, same landing gear, same skids, same boom support, same method of attachment to the, to the frame, to the boom uh, uh, supports, same method of uh, snapping the, uh, this part onto the boom and so it's, it, it's there's no point in, in uh, uh, doing over the instructions when the application and the installation is the same for both products, the Blade MCPX and the Wakira Genius CP. And this may also go across other products that we produce which have the similar uh, design approach and uh, in, in, in part design and in, in selection of materials. And it's something that I try to standardize on all, all the things, all the products that we produce as upgrades and retrofits for these little helicopters. Um, so that's how that frame uh, is installed onto the, the, the helicopter. Two screws at the front, one more time. These plates that just fit right over the let me point this out here the the servos have this uh, this piece of plastic here that holds the servos down and that piece of plastic has a specific shape and if you put that shape right in front of this opening here you should be able to uh, seat this opening into that that part and that creates a sort of a, a, a lock once you put the, the rod and you lock it with these two pressure fit grommets that we provide in the kit these are these are what, what I call the internal grommets or the frame supporting grommets these are not your canopy support grommets those sit on the outside once the canopy has been installed so just keep those uh, pointers uh, in mind. Other than other than this, uh, there's not much more to talk about the uh, the uh, assembly or the installation because it's it's very straightforward. One of the things that we're including in the Genius CP uh, upgrade uh, Mia Combo upgrade kit is also a vinyl tip. It doesn't need it, but it. I like things to flow and have a, a specific look and since I, I've done this with uh, many of the other products that we produce as uh, upgrades for these little tiny helicopters. So anyway this covers the Mia Phantom kit parts and assembly for the Genius CP helicopter.